Wait, 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 wait. Editor, 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 chop this part. And then you're like, uh, I really had a mad crush on you. Wait, what you said? I'm too many on a kid, and I'm not dating again. And the friendship had nothing to do with me. They were already not friends before me. They were in friends? Yeah, it was just that it, it was, you know, it's not news if they break up. But it's the news if they break up and I date one of them. Do you ever feel like uh like Sean was a better man than Shaq was? Yes. Definitely was. Mina beef, Mina Lia Kanat Bendani were fighting. That's what people <laughs> wanna hear. <laughs> Jokes <laughs> anyway. What's up, guys? It's your boy here, Prince Newton. Welcome to Prince Newton Exclusives. Uh, in it, happy new year to you guys. First of all, I hope this year is gonna be full of good vibes and blessings. Eat it and good health, obviously, for you guys. And uh, this day, we take the game to a whole new level. And of course, before I start by saying who my guest today is in the building, but it's a guest I've been wanting to have on my show for so, so, so long. But uh, yes, guys, me and my team have Martin that is coming soon for you, like Namani Shakofia, hoodies, some t-shirts in it. And uh, we're going to be creating a site for you where you can find it and how much it costs. And guess what? If you happen to purchase anything, I mean literally anything from the site, I'm going to be the one delivering it to you. So yes, Prince, I want to meet you. That's one of the easiest way to do so. But of course, guys, guess what? go a little, some good looking Shari. Some fine TikToker, she's very talented. It is, guys, like, hey, yo. Okay, I'm Sifia Sana, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, you've been asking for her for so long by the Apoka comments. Bring Cindy, bring Cindy, nini, nini. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on Prince Newton exclusives, I'm introducing to you none other but Cindy keeps sang in the building. Hi, <laughs> it's Cindy K. Happy New Year, everyone. Yep. Umekula? Ah, I'm in Eskianja. Ukonanja? And you know that. I was to reply you know to that. that, but now I can't say that on camera. But don't worry. You, you, you're going to eat like after we're done with the eating. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you were going for Oh, I can't see shout. But uh, yes, Cindy. Um, Kuna say when you do what you do with Cindy, na majority wana kujua. But uh, for people who don't know her, utanende uh, kenda hata, you know. Cindy is a businesswoman, she's a dancer, she's an influencer, let's say a content creator in general. In yes, it, the baddest. She is a student, I don't know what else I've left there. Soon to be a YouTuber. A YouTuber, in it. Uh -huh. That's our fault under the content creation, like you all over, in it. But uh, of course, one of the finest uh, TikTokers out there. Oh, you know, thank you. You know what I mean? But anyway, uh, Cindy, I would jump here like... Uh, we Cindy like Cindy ni nani? You know, we know the Cindy what is it? Sata Missy Jijuangi. Are you doing? Mm -mm, Cindy Happy Jiju. New Year. We in a new year, Pia me, I'm discovering myself Pia me, nani this year. Okay. Yeah. Where is <laughs> <we're not? laughs> Anyway, I'm in Strathmore. My name is Cindy Kipsang. So what? My name is Kalenjin. So I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to tell Wait, what you said? Yes. Hey, hey, more I'm, pre I'm preferential. I'm preferential to Akale, imagine. Hey, okay. Anyway, okay. We're <laughs> yeah. sorry, we're sorry then. Anyway, I don't want to. Nini, what is it called? See, must. See, see must. See, my propaganda too. <laughs> yeah, see, must. See, must, anyway. But, uh, Cindy, welcome to the show. Thank you. And, uh, you know, Mr. Moeni, student, uh, was tried. Like, uh, what are you pursuing and when are you likely to graduate? I graduate this year. Ooh. Finally. Yeah, so I do IT. You do yeah. IT? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. We're sorry, we're sorry. So, like, let me ask you, yeah, since you're pursuing that, do you ever feel like maybe you're going to start hosting uh, radio uh, shows or maybe TV shows or something in the future? Do you ever feel like that? Okay, that's different from whatever you're doing. Yeah. But do you, have you ever considered that? Yeah, of course. So if an opportunity comes your way, you're gonna like, you know, do it. My 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 bet is on myself. 
Let's say that. Like, if if an opportunity comes, yes, it's come. But my best bet is is me. I'm betting on myself. Yeah. I'll also bet on you anyway. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, going on. Uh, damn, bro. <laughs> I asked this question so many times until I'm like ah. But yes, uh, Cindy. You know, mm-hmm. we saw um some news by live online. So that's new news, Kwanza. How are you, Cindy? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not going to grill already. I'm still going to grill already. Okay, I'm going to grill already. I'm going to grill already. Okay, so I'm going to grill already. Okay, so I'm going to grill already. How are you doing, man? I'm going to grill. Physically. I'm going to grill. Women though, women though. But yeah, I saw the news like, Ayo, Cindy has done a plastic surgery. Ni, 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 ni. But I really want to get educated on that. Was it really plastic surgery? So I confirm. It's not Can plastic surgery. As well. Let, let me confirm for you. you. You have to take my word for it. Uh, but it takes more than the word, you know. I'm confirming for millions of people who are watching. What your comment section okay kubali nitakubali. Okay, kubali nitakubali. Eh, mkubali bana. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so it's a body sculpting procedure. They just take what's in your body and sculpt you. No, no, they're not adding anything. There's no surgery. There's no cuts. There's nothing like that. So people were saying that it's fake. Please, some respect. It's all still natural. Okay, we're sorry. We're yeah. sorry, man. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to be confirming that for you as uh, we pass by and all that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you're a very big TikTok star. One of the people I look up to. Like, I know I've never told you that. But to be honest, I've been looking up at things you do the way you carry yourself your inspiration to the society you know but uh your mind the tiktok pioneers palevo <laughs> so what to know like how has the journey been for you the disadvantages and the advantages of being who you are you know hey, advantage advantage is that I'm me disadvantage is also that I'm me <laughs> okay that like okay if you get it you get it but i think i'm getting what you mean but yeah Elaborate. Of course, the advantage is me being able to do what I love. I've been on TikTok since 2016 with the same account I'm using right now. But it only blew up in 2020. So give or take now, third year in the content creation professionally. But I've always done it, forever. And definitely it's been good, it's been nice, it's been sweet. But when it comes to, you know, people giving you their opinion on what they think, and them also you know kind of being in my business which is something I, i don't know why i didn't expect it but i never expected people would be in my business like that you know what you mean by being in your business anyway but they're in your business when it comes to a specific part of your life and if it comes up again it'll still be there but you know in your public figure these these are things that going to come through like your business it's definitely definitely business. yeah i accepted it obviously mm-hmm. but before i never used to know like that would happen to me. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't think people would care enough to know or to care enough to comment on it what Shock do you mean on it me. let it come from your mouth no i'm it's actually very general like even the body body surgery thing the people took it as plastic surgery but not to see what jing even when you na fikiria <laughs> what are you? Okay, I know that's like a But you know what? You know you there's I know there's also know. other things, trust me, that have been a bit iffy. Okay, okay. But it goes sour. But you ever feel like uh, your young self would be like mad proud of the person you become or was that kid ready for the critics out here, maybe positive and maybe negative? I definitely didn't have that thick skin for a long time. So, mliniweza, for sure. Oh, so like when we saying this scene is going to be like, oh, atina ka hivi, then you'll be crying about it. Not necessarily, okay, you but you'll be crying about it. I told you. Who <laughs> <laughs> told you? I know. You know. Yeah. Ni jun milianja. Most likely. It's okay. Most likely. But uh, yeah, continue uh this all the TikTok thing and all that. I'll be seeing you collaborating with your sister and Nini. Do you ever feel like it's going to be a family thing? I hope so. I definitely want her to do it, but she's a kid, so at her own pace. 
yeye akijisikia yeye atafanya exposure it's also okay but she would crush it she would crush it you can bet on her ah we buy even more than i can bet on me wow i love that yeah love that. but maybe you're like uh, still talking about uh, tiktok and all that you know yeah. we've been seeing you guys used to have meetups ni 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 what really happened okay yeah, yeah i can see they're calling you for that thing in it but uh <laughs> yeah like what happened to the meetups like people used to be close there was love and unity among us ourselves but as time passes by the more people are like you know mm-hmm. yeah so um tiktok kenya used to hold those meetings for us back in the day like they used to when they were trying to venture into the market yeah and it was so fun they used to do the most they'd give us much they give us food they do this and that it would be so frequent so obviously we got to become close and i still vibe with those creators still today love them keep i keep them still you know close yeah so i think just what happens nowadays is that those meetings don't happen often since covid everything just changed Now the meetings are online and you can never really vibe online. I like that you the same way that, that yeah. you know I'm here with you on the ground. Yeah. But uh you know like uh do you feel like um the meetups are really helpful to you guys as creators and all that? Definitely 100%. Getting to know first of all who's in your community and also the fact that it was new that time to learn, you know, the tips and tricks. Yeah. So we got to know things very fast. And uh, you know you've collaborated with so many people in TikTok, you know. Mm-hmm. Guys, Sherry's. Who is your favorite of them all? I've ever collaborated with you like, "Yo, bro, if I want to collaborate with this given person, I'm going to do it again and again and again without getting tired of it." I know you might not mention some names. I have one in specific. But okay, go ahead. Okay, except my sister. Obviously. Yeah. I'd collab with I know you don't know her her name is Doris Koye. Where does she come from? She lives with me. Wait, wait, wait. That best friend of yours or something? No. Or confusing. No, 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 no. She's a house manager. She works at a house and oh, she's so no, I fun. I do. Yeah. I saw that like for you video. I think it's on top of my favorite videos that you've ever It's done. always it's I think my most recent most funniest thing to do. Because whenever we make TikToks together, it's just a vibe. Like, you know, it's just, when something just flows, it just flows. I get it. Yeah. But that's nice. But maybe, like, uh, apart from her, okay, like, it's someone we're getting to know. I think she also has a page or something. I'll be checking out. Yeah. How it is as well. But uh, <laughs> I saw, like, a stalker in it. But I promise I'm not. Good research. Good research. I promise I'm not. But, uh, <laughs> you know, like, uh, how I need to not join him again when I feel like, yo. Our collaborations are always mad. A moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to I'm trying to pick one specific person. You know, you have to pick two. A Sherry and a guy. Oh. Oh, uh, a guy definitely Flatty Carlos. Uh-huh. Yeah. And a girl Martina. Martina. Mhm. Okay, you guys are so close. Yeah. I love the fact that she's my new favorites but uh moving on from that story you know um you know you went to me at the all of last year not like me here completely but you know you are in that much active and so did your friend you know but uh i really want to know like what's your relationship like with her alia can mm, but uh yeah. again kwani mliambiana like we tuend me up kuna beef me na alia kana tupendani we're fighting that's what people want to hear <laughs> jokes <laughs> anyway me and her are on such good terms i don't know someone brought up that we had beef or something but we don't have beef we've never had beef we've always been such good friends okay yeah. we can tell like from the way you guys work together and all that's like you yeah. still eyes but what led to you like being quiet for like a whole year bro okay you know when you are a content creator when you take some break it's kind of like uh the speed is not the same when you come back it's really hard picking up from where you left Yeah. Uh, really made you take the break. Many have been observant in it. Kuna nikatia sema. Ai. But I was the MIA yes in December last year. Mm. And I had plenty reasons, you know. First of all, I was in my finals. 
and those more practical life things that happen. But also just, I just took a break for just myself to kind of bring back that positive space that I had. It was kind of ruined, let's say that, by negativity and I don't like that. When you say negativity, what type of negativity are you speaking about to be more specific? What kind can there be? There are multiple sorts of negativity. It can be maybe um, relationship-wise, it can be work-wise, it can be school-wise, you know? Okay, well, it was bringing me negativity to myself. Like, Mm -hmm. you know, people comment about you and your body and who you are and there are things that realistically you cannot change. You cannot change some things about yourself. So when someone comments about something like that, and it's not something you can change, of course it can, it's going to hurt you. So I kind of just step back to bring back that positive space within myself so I that know. I can continue doing it without feeling like I'm doing it for someone else. Yeah. Okay. All right. But uh, getting off that, <clears throat> um, this may might be a part of the interview you're not ready for. And yes, guys, I know you've been waiting for this part of the interview, but I don't know if she's ready for that part of the interview. Um, breathe in. Breathe out. <laughs> I know when I watch this back, I'll die, but... Uh-huh. Okay, I have a question for you. Uh, it's kind of something I myself would also want to know, like, what really happened, you know? Sidi was dating recently, but Nikayo Monday, I, I, I guess you broke up in December, according to the socials. Like when you actually broke up, if it was earlier or the exact time the news was broken to everybody. But uh, <clears throat> I don't think you've ever talked about it anywhere before or something like that. But I know most people want to know like what really happened between you and Sean. Crazy. Like, you know, what really led to you breaking up with him or rather him? Okay, according to the interview he did, he said he's the one who chose to exit first. So basically, he's the one who left you. That's true. So the question is, why did he leave you? And, uh, you know, your previous relationship was a similar case, if I'm not wrong, before that one. What? They left before you left. Which previous relationship are we talking about? Okay, kuna ile nye mi na juwe nye sifai kushaut lakini na wangelelea hiyo ingine. Okay, wachana na uyo mgine. Iyo mshaisha. Oh, nye chana ule mwenye... Whoa. Water under the bridge, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, recently, you know, we broke up like a whole month, I think, before it was announced. A whole month? Uh, yeah, it was a whole month. So, you know, people are asking me, like, when it was announced, like, how is the breakup going? And, you know, something I'd already dealt with. It was a month, like, I already dealt so with it. So, I didn't see the corner to me, you're like, I overcame it, guys. Took place long ago. You know, I think people still even ask me till today, and it's like it's been like 10 years now, you know. Like, was it like a mutual feeling between the yeah, two? Yeah, it was years? a mutual feeling, and I think the only thing that people um, took from that interview he did was that it was because I was not over my previous relationship, which was not true. But he said that. Yeah, he said that. He said that, and I actually had, I called him to ask him why he would say that. And he said he didn't mean to say that, just kind of came out. And it's radio, you know, and once you put something on radio, you just go with it. But maybe he felt like that. You never know. But uh, you, do you ever feel like I'm over this guy? Yeah. Yeah, like I was so good. Like, do you still talk? I'm even shocked. You talk? Okay, like we saw the video of you two at the Soul Fest mm. having a convo. So basically, does that mean like you guys be talking or? We don't talk, but it was like, I just met him that one time. And let me tell you, people ran with it. They ran with it. Yeah, I mean, even I, even myself, if I see you, like your ex, it'll be like my Yeah, it's not like I have a death wish, you know. Yeah. And everybody has those situations where they meet their ex and it's awkward and you're having like, you're good and like, you're good. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Awkward conversations, you know. Yeah, everybody has those. But do you ever reach a point where, like, uh, maybe you feel like there's one specific thing that be making my relationships come to an end? Putting my business outline. Yes. 
I will not be doing that. But again. how does that really, you know, affect your relationship? I mean, there's so many people having their relationship out there, but still be going smoothly and tight. One, because people are allowed to give their opinions, and yes, you can have a relationship online, but as long as people are supportive towards you. So if they're not supportive towards you, they'll not give you the nicest comments, and it's definitely going to be something to. Okay. But maybe let's say like apart from that, okay, maybe just to use an example, for myself I can say communication is a very big problem for me. So I know this be may be like causing trouble in my relationships. Communication is very general, you know. It can be calls, maybe texts, you ain't be doing shit like that. But uh for you what can you say like this has led to me like having breakups with people where well, maybe we had a future together in it and all that. Oh no, no no no. That's not the situation at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think something that's very obvious for me right now especially is that I just want to grow as a person on my own. So that really contributes to that fact that I just want to be me and do me. It's just something I have to do, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so nothing is contributing to the relationship breaking up or anything. Like personally, I know like me and Sean never even had a fight or anything. Dis- even never disagreed even for a single day. Mm. Yeah, it's got to point to Kasima. I think I'm tired of you. I think it's cuz first we were friends, so we always understood like I understand you, you understand me. So it's no bad blood till today I don't feel no bad blood. But let me ask you, yeah. Uh from a guy's point of view, you know. I'm not assuming this all happened. You have the right to correct me where you feel like I'm wrong. But now you see like uh they were very good friends. But the the friendship was broken by you dating um Sean. And Sean at some point felt like Shaq was in the right guy for you. But uh before I continue with this question that I was to ask, do you ever feel like uh like Sean was a better man than Shaq was? Yes. Definitely was. <clears throat> okay, like what makes you feel like this guy was a better man than the other one? What did the other one not do that this one was doing? I don't want to talk about that, but <laughs> let's just, let me just give you a very like general answer. It just it was very textbook. It's kind of obvious, you know? There are basic things girls like and they're just those things. Like flowers and stuff like that. Oh, so you want to say my nigga was like, you know, um he was like gangster and all that, but this other one is gangster maybe, but still like doing the things for you that you want to be done for you yeah. uh, as a woman. Yeah. So that's like the deep, big difference between the two of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. But let me tell you something. Uh let me ask you something, yeah. You see like uh do you ever feel like okay, according to people out here they were feeling like uh you took Sean to make Shaq feel bad or something like now you ain't got me but I got your best friend you know like is it really that how it was or something no and the friendship had nothing to do with me they were already not friends before me they were in friends yeah it was just that it, it, you know it's not news if they break up what is the news if they break up and i did one of them so okay okay yeah that kind of makes sense yeah. i mean it it was not news when they when when they that. stopped was none of my business yeah now you see like i was like looking at the comments as i was say palevo and someone was like i read one it's still there i think it was under given page someone was like shown you the long route just to be able to have you rather smash you know and all that do you feel like he really took the long route to have you in any way no i still feel like he was really genuine he was not lying to me mm-hmm. so yeah i have nothing but good things to say <clears throat> okay okay but uh, yeah. let me ask you yeah the, the, the last question uh we also were happened on social media with one of our public figures i'm not going to be mentioning the name mm-hmm. but i but you are aware of some videos leaking of someone and all that um are you ever afraid of the same happening to you with one of your exes now that you know together and they can like uh put into public something that was meant just for them 
and all that. Ah, uh, hawana content. Hmm? Hawana content. Hawana. High five Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> hawana content. So like it's 3D. You come see it and then the rest is history. Your phone doesn't have any business having any of my content. Ah, uh, no phone business, please. Yeah. So, I know to do advice ladies out there, you know, when it comes to such matters. Definitely the for girls it's always you know people make a big deal out of such things and everybody makes mistakes everyone makes mistakes and especially when you're young yeah. like you don't know what you're doing yourself so i don't think people should villainize people for mistakes they made and they should just hold them they shouldn't hold them to the same standard and and i just don't want girls to do to do that of course i'm not advising it. i'm against it but still don't make the mistake to do that it's a big mistake in it depends on the repercussions you get <laughs> but okay. it's a big mistake nevertheless okay okay but moving on from the whole relationship thing so let me ask you here <sighs> it's a <laughs> um, finally now we've moved on it's a new we've now we've done this part of the interview we can all move on it's a new year and it's officially 2023 yeah so yeah Thank getting you. past all that yeah now. for sure okay now Cindy are you single yes you're single yes and uh okay we know your relationship ended like a few what it actually like yeah a few months ago but are you looking for maybe to dating in future or is it something you feel like no idea if you're dating nijikute you later public figure nijikute not dating. No. Did you cut it? I'm not dating again. Yeah. So you belong I, to the streets. I belong to me only. Ni peke yangu. Ah. Nimeoga na nimekaa maliniko hata si ndi kwa soko. Wewe ndi kwa soko. Nimekatu kwa nyumba. Okay, do you feel like this is led by your your past events? Yes and no. <laughs> yes because you all know what happened and no because you know whatever you know it's just also time for me i just want to grow as a person also a lot of things in my life are changing right now and it's i'm moving like this okay we're sorry we're sorry mm-hmm. man we wish you all the best mm-hmm. in whatever you're doing behind the scenes okay. but again cindy kuna my boy is up i be going sana i'm sure even that come on you are sema come on you are sema it's okay okay sema i'm going to say ah babe big person that's watching i'm sure it's men because mm-hmm. i mean we all know you're very attractive and all that so the guys out there want to be know like they want to know what she be looking for in a guy unataka mwanaume yako vipi au unataka mwenye yako na nini for now stafuti so ata sina options okay. it's okay you're not looking for one or what she be looking for in a man what do you want your guy to be having them being a man is already a red flag for me so i think <laughs> I genuinely have no answer like for what's your type. You know I've been thinking about that for so long and I genuinely don't have an answer. You for real? Yeah. That's care, bro. I don't have an answer because I don't know. Not I don't know because I know I don't want. Okay, it's okay. We put that aside. Yeah, 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 no. I know. But you see, you have to want to want something. Okay, but now now looking at the men that you've been attracted to before. That's not them anything but them okay you're complicating these days <laughs> i want a guy with short i want a guy maybe who has great i don't know what you what you really want it's easy don't complicate it bro sad same not come to munya kona akili eh that's the best way to say it come to munya kona akili anaza fikiria That's an insult directly to some people. I'm not insulting anyone by the way. No, way. yeah, but no, I, no. by the way it's no. put out. <laughs> no, nataka tu mtu mwenye anaweza fikiria before afanye kitu. Yeah. Okay, that speaks volume without yeah. you saying some things in it. Uh, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not that deep. But yes, at least that's to talk here for even though make attack tumbia type yake and all that. Um, yeah, no time. I see you that sure you like traveling so much, don't you? Traveling. Yeah, I love. You do, right? I do, yeah. I right, so you go to USA like what was the deal with you going to South Africa, you know? Oh, this is my last year adventures. Mm-hmm. 
So last year I was really lucky. I got two opportunities to go to South Africa. The first one was with Spotify. Mm-hmm. And the second one was with Travel to SA. So the ministry is working and like Kenyan ministry. Right? I'm telling you. I'm telling you they're putting in the work. They are and they're doing it so good. So what's your question? Uh like why did you go to SA? What was the reason why you went to South Africa? Oh, mm-hmm. definitely. So, you know, as a content creator, there's obviously jobs that you get that are on the ground, but now some of them require you to travel, which was now my first time experiencing that since, you know, 2020 was the time where I did a lot in terms of TikTok, but there a lot of the opportunities were closed. So now the opportunities came up now starting 2020 where you're able to travel. Basically, the company just takes you out for an event, a specific event. Yeah. So in both times that I went, I was going for a very specific event. So for Spotify, it was a VIP event for creators. And then to travel to SA was a huge concert where Banner Boy performed. Yeah, it's called the Delight Festival. Oh, okay. So you ensure sure you just went there to have fun and promote South Africa, which is a vibe and good thing. They, accept, they accepted me with open arms. <laughs> I love it. I think that might be one of the reasons um, I've been following you for quite some time and now I'll be seeing like you want to leave Kenya at some point. Not and anytime been, soon. Not anytime soon. But you've always wanted to. Yeah, but not anytime soon. And, uh, you know, like I saw you saying you want to move to South Africa. Is it because of the promo you were doing for them or is it just because uh, you love the place itself? And why South Africa? I definitely would move there. I love the place. I love the vibes. I love the people. I love, I loved everything. everything. You say the people are not judgmental like Kenyans? No. I saw something like that saying I, that people there don't judge you. Uh, however no, it's not even that they don't judge you. Yeah. I think they're just a bit more forward mm-hmm. in terms of some things. So some of the things that I would like to do, I cannot do them here because I will get negative backlash. Again, he's on dark of fire. From, uh, and this is from past <laughs> experiences. Yeah. No, like even there's some, 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 I did a shoot, I did a shoot on Halloween mm-hmm. and I was dressed as Betty Boop. Let me tell you, why are people coming at me for not being an angel or a devil for Halloween? Like, there's no diversity, there's no creativity. No one is opening up their minds to that. But if but the people who you know now obviously after traveling I gained some kind of audience from there as well, mm-hmm. and the people who came from my audience in South Africa are so accepting and they love the content I'm doing there. You know, they they're seeing the level of the content that I'm doing, mm-hmm. but here it's kind of like, ah, oh, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so so basically what you're trying to say is that like. We don't support our own that much because you gave even an nah, example. Now, that's a truth. That's a truth. That's a truth. People don't so support their own. So we need to own. change. There's nothing I can say, you know, to change anything. But, and it's not just Kenyans. I'm not just saying it's just Kenyans. But a lot, in a lot of places, like, people will not support their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wrapping up this, almost finishing. I know you guys are waiting for what I said I'm going to say at the end of the interview. But don't worry. One last question in it. Uh, what's the biggest brand you've worked for and uh, maybe your biggest gig that you've been paid like hey yo bro these guys paid me well or maybe how much you be uh, charging to work with corporates to be specific obviously you never say the price and I'll just what I can tell you is the biggest I've the biggest gig I've done is the one to travel to SA that was my biggest gig because I think I had the most fun. I did the most. It was just amazing. Best experience. But my highest paying gig was not that one. Oh. Yeah, Which so I had a, a different high, higher paying brand was Spotify. Spotify. Spotify has definitely paid me better. That's amazing, bro. Mm-hmm. I know you're looking forward to working with them again this year. Of course, yeah. I am part of um, a concierge team with Spotify, so... Oh. We go working with them every year. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Spotify could. Uh, 
Nipi? Kupe free music. Yeah, do so. Kupachia? Yeah. So. Yeah. Meet me behind the tent. Okay, I'm going to be doing so. But after listening to the interview, and how it was conducted, and how everything was, first of all, you're a vibe. Hmm. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, guys, yeah. Hey, come back to you. Zakwa ngu mimi kusema. Shall I tell people be telling me this out there? Okay, you see, like when you were starting 2019, 2020. I think I met you in 2019 and all that. Mm-hmm. So, um. Nakumbuka. Yeah, somewhere there. Mm-hmm. Tell them. Tell evolve. them the truth. Um. Tell them the truth. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah. This is the thing. Like. Uh, I really had a mad crush on you. You had it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I've never seen this out there, <laughs> but I used to have a mad crush on you. Now I feel like I'm getting to interview, so why not tell you? But I feel like it takes someone to have balls for you to say something like that because the anxiety at the moment and all that, you know. I congratulate you. But yes, for the people, the show is will be asking Prince, maybe what's your type or what you'll be looking for in a woman. This is a good example for you. I'm honored. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like uh, somebody grab your notebooks. I'm gonna be giving out tips. <laughs> yes, so uh, exactly. So I felt like before the interview ends, so I must like say that I can't let you go without me saying that you're a very good-looking woman with some class, you know, some good sense of fashion in it. There's so much really to be said about you. Thank you. But I know this is gonna be controversial for me out there, but. You know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly, man. But uh, yes, you can tell people where to find you in socials. You can find me at Cindy K 3 on all platforms and YouTube. You can find me at Cindy Kipsang. Go ahead, eat it. And yes, guys, this is the first of many interviews that we're gonna be conducting this year. I know some parts have caught you by surprise. Some from her, from the interview, and some from me. But yes, you can get to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> up over comments section who you want to see next on this seat and I'm going to be trying to look for them but of course I want to say thank you for all of you who have been supporting me not just last year six and months Santi but man you know my heart is full of gratitude to you guys for always being there for me but yes this year I'm taking the game to a whole new level eat it see you guys next week maybe same time same place different guests eat it Ooh, it's my funny interview about that time to guys. <laughs> <laughs>